let's have a look at the images uh, in this uh, video here. Uh, in particular, I something I forgot uh, in the previous video. If we go and look at our three web pages, you'll see that the banner image is about 30% wider than the rest of the content of the web page. Okay, and the reason for that is because the banner image is about 1300 pixels wide, whereas the width of the uh, div ID equals wrapper is 1000 pixels. Okay, so it's about 30% wider. So we need to fix that first. And that is a matter of going into the uh, HTML code, okay, for each image. So here is uh, the Ring of Gullion banner. In fact, let me just show you that uh, in the images. Uh, Ring of Gullion banner. Okay, if I right click on that and go to properties, uh, we should be able to see the size uh, here. One tr 1356 pixels. Okay, so it's 35.6% too big uh, to be very fussy about it. So how are we going to change that? Well, we're simply going to add in width equals 1000. When we just change the width, uh, the height will change automatically. Okay, so the shape of the image will stay the same. Uh, all that's going to happen is uh, the size of it will change okay but the shape stays the same so I am going to copy that line of code and paste it on top of the header image uh, on the other two web pages okay a quick keyboard way to do that is I want to copy not just the contents of, of line 16 there I also want to copy the indentation here okay so that when I paste the line uh, it's going to go nice and smoothly okay so I have the cursor somewhere on the line and with the on the keyboard, I just press the home key once. You can see it goes to the beginning of the text. I press the home key again, it goes to the beginning of the line. I want to copy that whole line. I hold down the shift key and I press the down arrow, the down key, okay? And that gives me the whole line, including the indent. I then do control C and I go to history.html and I want to replace this line here. So I'm going to hit the home key twice shift and down select that line and then i'm going to do Control v to paste okay so we can see that's coming in there and then also on culture okay so go to the line home key twice shift and down Control v okay so let's double check that that's happened there we go that's okay so they're all they're all back to normal now we've got this image here Okay, on all pages. Well, sorry, we've got we've got an image location in all pages just before the text starts. Uh, what we're having here is we're having all this empty space. So let's try and get rid of that empty space by floating the image and let's move it over to the right hand side. Okay, so how do we do that? Uh, the idea of floating an image or floating a paragraph uh, or floating a box or a, or a tag of any sort is that all the other uh, HTML will wrap up around it. So we will get rid of this empty space. Uh, so let's do that. Okay, I'm going to make this change once and I already have it here in the best tradition of cookery programs. Okay, so I am going to go to my common.css and I'm going to paste it in there. Okay, so what is this style all about? Uh, hash gullion image, float right, and then we've got this funny looking stuff after the word margin. So let me talk about the float first. Okay, so I have made that change in the common style sheet. And if you remember, we are linking that to all three web pages. Okay, so our web pages are already starting to look similar. Okay, so that's... Uh, image is floated to the right and you'll see all this text is wrapped around it okay sorry that's history there's welcome and there's culture yeah so the image uh, is over there to the right you might think well why there are three different images how can the style for an ID uh, affect three images ID is supposed to be only for one particular tag uh, that would be correct okay one particular tag inside a particular web page 
okay so the image these three images all have the same id but that will work because they are all on three different web pages okay so that's what float right does uh, if i change that to float left uh, we should see the opposite effect. Let's F5 to refresh that. Okay, so the image is over here and the text is wrapping around. This time you can see there's a margin here and the text, there's no margin on the right. Okay, let's just double check that works. Okay, so there's no margin on the right of the image. Uh, so you can see the image is bang slap up against the edge uh, of the main the main tag okay there is no margin on top of the image believe it or not uh, notice the top of the image is bang slap with the top of the text there is a margin on the left and there is a margin below okay so left and bottom have margins uh, top and right don't have it how do we set that hopefully the style that we've typed in makes makes a bit of sense okay margin zero zero one and one Okay, these are represent the four sides uh, of our image. Okay, and they basically go around clockwise. Okay, so the first uh, value there represents is, is is applied to the top of the image. Then the next zero is applied to the right of the image. The next, the first one is applied to the bottom, and the second one is applied uh, to the left. Okay, so if I change this. Uh, to 5 em okay let's see what that does and we should be able to see straight away okay one margin is going to be five times bigger okay here we go okay so that's the left there the left has gone uh, five times bigger let's put that back to one before i forget um okay now we'll talk about ems uh, later on em is a relative measure of size normally we use pixels uh or percentage okay a pixel is is an absolute size em is is used for relative sizes uh, and one em is about 16 pixels okay so this idea of an object on a page you can think of objects or tags uh, or elements as being basically rectangular okay uh, uh, a heading a h1 is a very long rectangle with a very small height uh, a paragraph uh, will have a bigger height than a, a heading typically a few lines of text okay so we can we can do stuff with the sides of a tag okay we can put a border let's try that okay i could write border uh let's say three pixels red and let's say dashed okay let's see what that does uh, okay puts in a three pixel red dash border okay like so uh, so it moves the image in three pixels uh, from the edge uh, so the image is now six pixels wider because it's got two sides of three pixels okay if i made that 30 pixels okay we're starting to get that so these are fancy things uh we can do uh, with uh, borders okay um, this is a very interesting website here uh, very helpful okay cssmate.com forward slash css editor dot html so i am in the borders tab and let's i would urge you to uh, play around with that okay so let's say red here Okay, so all sides are going to be red. Uh, they're going to have a solid line, and the width could be 30. You can see EM is coming up there, inches to be a bit, bit large, pixels like that. Okay, and then maybe I want to change the top uh, to a double line, which is misspelled. And uh, let's say 15 pixels there okay so you can see that's happening there okay so the top is um narrower than the other sides uh, and over here we are seeing the uh, styles being developed for here okay so this is called the box model the idea that a tag is essentially a box 
we can style uh, the top, right, bottom, and left. Okay, so uh, worth experimenting with. Uh, very, very useful. We can put margins. Uh, padding is uh, between the content uh, and the border. Okay, so if I put uh, 15 pixels here, and preview, I'm not sure why that's not working. Um, should be working. Okay, so I think there's, there's, there's a problem there, but um, anyway, you, you can check out the margin. We can, we can work. Let, let, let me put padding in here uh, just so we can see. Um, uh, let's say 10 pixels. So what that's going to do is that's going to apply the same padding value to all four sides. So we should see some space between the image uh, and the border. So let's save that. And come back to here. There we go. There. Okay. So here's our 10 pixels here. Okay. So the margin is between the border of the tag and whatever's outside. The padding is between the border of the tag and whatever's inside. Okay. So margin is out here and padding is inside here. Okay. So I would strongly urge you to just play around uh, with border styles. Uh, we'll come across more of those uh, later in the semester.